y'all welcome to my youtube channel today is monday july 15th and today i am going to be filming a vlog so it has been what seems like a hot minute since i got on here and vlogged the past couple of weeks have just been so insane i've been crazy i've been all over the place it was bermuda it was colorado and then it was like three trips back and forth to florida and i am just pooped but i am finally back to my like normal routine no trips are planned in the near future so i can finally get back on track because i can say my eating has been pretty subpar these past couple of weeks but Today, I am going to start off the day by running into Target. I need to pick up a couple of things, and then I am going to the grocery store to stock up on a ton of my keto essentials, doing a huge grocery haul because I have zero food in the refrigerator, and that needs to change. So I made a meal plan for the week, gonna go pick up all the supplies. So let's get this day started. Let's go. 2,000 years later. Well, Target was playing very loud music, which would get me a copyright strike if I uploaded that. So unfortunately, I didn't get any footage inside of Target, but I figured I'd do a little Target haul real quick. I got nothing exciting. I came for the sole purpose of buying hangers. I got the white version and the black version, so cool. And then I also got these little cheap plastic plates. These are just good for when I style pictures for like my blog or for YouTube or whatever. Just having some like cutesy pootsy different colored plates and they were like 79 cents each. And then I got three colors of these kind of like salad bowls. And then I also got this cute little kitchen towel out of their dollar section. It was like three bucks, but it's got like all the herbs on it. And then it comes with this cute little green one as well. And then I got some nine volt batteries because we have a beeping smoke alarm. And then lastly, I got me a new brow pencil because my hair has gotten really light and my eyebrows are way too dark. So I got some that are lighter, but yeah. That was my Target haul, time to go grocery shopping. <laughs> totally forgot while I was in Target, I picked myself up an iced coffee. I have not had Starbucks in so long, but your girl needed some coffee and I didn't have any heavy whipping cream at home, so used my Starbucks gift card. I got the normal, what I get every single time, a venti iced coffee, light heavy cream, sugar-free cinnamon dolce and no classic syrup so there we go okay so here's a little story i had to share real quickly so i was on the way to the grocery store from target and all of a sudden i got this gut feeling that i should check on Bo with our furbo which is a camera that i have that i can check in on Bo with but i was sitting at a red light and i opened up the app and i was like i don't see Bo, which is weird and I looked and there's like a treat cabinet that we keep all the treats in and I could see that it was barely opened. I'm surprised I even noticed it, but I was like, I've got to go home right now because I can 100% guarantee you that this dog is in the treats. Here's what I found when I got home. Roll the clip. <laughs> hey, Bo, are you guilty? Did you get into the cabinet where I keep all the treats? Yeah, I think you did. Probably because I just found this treat bag on his dog bed. Mm-hmm. Are you guilty? Did you do this? No, it was you. It was you. Thankfully, you grabbed the treat bag with literally one bone left in it. Not the full one with like 50. You made the right choice, dog. But how did I have this little gut feeling that you were doing something bad? Mm-hmm. He was. Did you do that? Mm-hmm. Guilty. So I guess I'm going to head to the grocery store now that I got that all 
taken care of. Crisis averted. Woo! I just got home from neighborhood Walmart. I went and picked up groceries for most of the week and I thought I would do a little bit of a haul and show y'all what I picked up. So first off, I grabbed this 36 egg value pack. This was $2.47. Keto does not have to be expensive. Eggs are awesome on keto, so just wanted to throw that out there. But I am going to attempt to start eating eggs again. I've had an aversion to them for months and months and months. So I'm going to start trying to train myself to like them again. And I got some queso fresco to fry. So, so good. I got some Italian dressing and marinade. I am going to marinate some chicken for shish kebabs later this week. I got a big thing of heavy whipping cream because I didn't have any. A block of cream cheese, a pack of bacon, some mild Italian sausage to grill later this week. A big thing of chicken breast because I want to do chicken shish kebabs this week as well as jalapeno and cream cheese stuffed chicken breast. So got enough to last for the whole week. I got a sliced ham because this weekend my grandmother fried some ham and it was the best thing ever. So I got some for me to fry for Cody and I this week for breakfast. I got a yellow onion, some bell peppers for the shish kebabs. I got these three colors and I got a green one as well. I thought that would be festive and fun with all the colors. I got a couple heads of broccoli because I'm just going to cut them apart and boil them because Cody loves boiled broccoli as do I and I'm gonna put a cheese sauce over the top. I got some zucchini as well as some squash and those are gonna be sides for dinner this week in some way, shape, or form. Haven't figured that out. And lastly, I got some red onions for the shish kebabs. So that is it, that is my grocery haul. And there's a couple other things that I already had in the fridge so I didn't need to pick them up. But yeah, that is a majority of my food for the week. Also, while I was at Walmart, I found these acrylic nude French nails. They're like real short because that's how I like my nails. But these were less than six bucks and they're supposed to last for like seven days. Here's a little before. I have no nails. I pick them all off. So let's see how this works. These took me about 15 minutes to put on. The hardest part was just looking at the numbers and trying to get them to fit my fingers. But I must say for like less than six bucks, these look pretty good and the glue that is on these, I glued my fingers to each other a couple of times. You can see them. I had to like rip them apart. So, I mean, if that glue is that strong, hopefully these last a couple of days. I think they look pretty darn good. So today marks the first official day of my step bet challenge. It is a six week long daily step challenge that challenges you to hit some step goals each day. Those steps are personalized to you based on the history of your daily walking habits. Since today is the first day, I'm about to grab Bo and take him on a nice long walk and get ahead on my steps for the day. And then I'm gonna come back, fix myself my first real meal of the day. So let's go get our exercise on. You ready, Bobo? Do you wanna go on a walk, Mr. Goldfish Sucker? You ready? Let's go on a walk, buddy. Come on, let's go, come on. Going on a walk with my little Bo, come on. I just got back from taking Bo on a walk and now it is time for my first meal of the day. So let me show you what I'm eating. Last week I was shopping at Publix and I found this Real Good Foods breakfast pizza. 280 calories, 17 fat, 4 grams of carbs, and 25 grams of protein. So I'm about to throw this in the toaster oven and I'm going to let it get nice and toasted and crunchy and we're going to see how it tastes. I just cooked the heck out of this pizza because I wanted to make sure that it was nice and crispy because that's how I like my little pizzas like this. So I just added a little bit of salt and pepper to it right here. 
And now I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna give it a taste test. Okay, so thoughts on that breakfast pizza. I give it like a three out of 10. I didn't really enjoy it. I just didn't think it had much flavor to it at all. So yeah, there's that. But I am still hungry, so I am going to have one of these Kiss My Keto chocolate peanut butter bars. There's 20 grams of fat, nine grams of protein, and three net carbs in it. I'm gonna eat this and it's gonna hold me over until I figure out what Cody and I are going to cook for dinner. Going to eat this. Actually, I really, really love these bars and I'm running out of them, so I need to order some more. For some reason, it's kind of mushy, even though it's been sitting in my cabinet. But these are really, really good. I enjoy the heck out of them. Well, the weather ended up holding out today. So we are hooking up the boat and we are going fishing this afternoon. Well, I didn't think that we were fishing today, but here we are. We got the boat and we are at Dolphin Island, Alabama, about to put in the boat. So this weekend is actually the biggest fishing rodeo in the world. It is the Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo. There is a lot at stake. There's a lot of money in this. There's a chance to win a couple boats. So we're doing a little pre-fishing today. Since there's been so much rain in the area, we're trying to figure out where we can still catch fish. So we decided since we had a little bit of time today, the weather was good, and this is probably the only day this week we can go fishing. We decided to haul our butts down here and we're gonna go fishing and we're gonna try and catch some big ones so that we have like some spots in mind for this tournament because it would be so cool to just place in this tournament which there's like 3,500 people competing so the odds are slim to none but you know what, we're gonna give it our best shot. So we're here, it's this place called Jemison's. We are about to launch our boat here. They're getting me some shrimp and we're gonna try and catch some big old fish. So I didn't plan on coming out here today, but here we are. It's gonna be fun, I love fishing and I hope we can get some big ones so I can show y'all them. Let's go fishing. Let's just take a second to appreciate the most Alabama thing of the day. Look at these guys jumping out of this giant old way too lifted truck with these massive tires. They were all in camo. So if you want to know what it's like living in Alabama, there you go. This is Bo's happy place just here on the boat. He's so happy. Right, buddy? I never thought that Bo would be such a boat dog, but he is as happiest out here. He just sits here and lives for the fish. It's so funny. Yep. Oh, perfect size too. Yep. And a mint hay, or no, a uh, small trout. That's a bullet, that's a mullet, two mullet. Broken up, baby. Woo! Yeah, exactly what we need. That's a dude. Look at all of those. Exactly. Well, we caught a shark, not exactly what we were wanting. There he goes. Broke the hook too. Oh my golly. Can you hear him croaking? Sorry, Bo, he had to go. Hey 
guys, so we just got home from fishing. We had a great time out on the boat today. However, we didn't really catch the intended species that we were going for. However, we did end up hooking on to two black tip sharks, which is a little bit scary. We lost a pair of pliers getting one of the sharks off, but they were both safely released. I caught a bunch of speckled trout, but a lot of them were pretty small and none of them were keepers. So they were all safely released as well. So we learned a little bit about our spot. We learned that days like today are not a good day to fish for what we're looking for. <laughs> but anyways, it is about nine o'clock. Your girl is tired and I am about to go figure out what I can throw together for dinner because I didn't really plan on fishing today. So I didn't plan on like a quick and easy snappy meal to have ready when I get home. So let's go stroll through the fridge and figure out what I'm going to make us for dinner. I am going to go ahead and try and cook some of this Parmesan chicken breast cutlets. It says it is breaded with a blend of shredded and grated Parmesan cheese. So what I'm going to do is throw these chicken breasts in the air fryer and see what happens. Hopefully it'll taste good. I'm going to move it down to about 350 degrees or so. It's kind of hard. You have like an 80 degree difference between these two numbers. So you just kind of guess. But I'm hoping it'll you know cook these well all right guys verdict is these parmesan chicken breasts cooked super well in the air fryer as well so i just cooked them for about eight minutes on one side flipped them over and cooked them for about four more minutes i checked them with my meat thermometer to make sure that they were fully cooked and they are and they look pretty delicious I had some pre-made jalapeno poppers, so I grabbed those and I just chunked them in the air fryer. I just have it on 400 degrees, and I'm gonna put it at like 10 minutes, and then I'll check on it and see what happens. I just pulled these out of the air fryer. I ended up cooking them about a total of 13 minutes, and these are absolutely perfect. The bacon is crispy, the jalapeno is cooked. Holy crap! You can't even cook them this good in like the oven. Hey guys, checking in. So I had dinner and it was good. And then I went ahead and hopped in the shower and rinsed all of that nasty fishiness off of me. And now I just feel like a brand new woman. But your girl is tired and I'm about to head to bed. But before I head to bed, I'm about to self tan myself. And I've had a ton of questions lately about how am I so tan? And I thought I would share my secret with y'all because I am loving this self tanner. So this is not sponsored in any way. This is just a product that I have fallen in love with because it makes me look so good. I can be the bronzed goddess that I want to be without exposing my skin to all the harmful sun rays because I usually fish in like a long sleeve shirt and leggings a lot of the time. So my secret is I have been using this stuff called Beet Tan. It is this self tanner lotion and y'all it makes me look so good. I have like tan lines all over me right now from like tank tops, swimsuits, long sleeve shirts, Apple watch tans. I just have tan lines everywhere. My stomach is like a hundred shades lighter than the rest of my body because it doesn't see the sun. So I have been using this and it rocks my socks. So this stuff is a clear lotion. So when you apply it to your skin, you don't stain anywhere like a lot of self tanners. It's just a clear lotion that develops over a couple of hours. It's safe to use on your face because it's plant based, which I like to use it on my face because your girl looks like she has a mustache half the time because I always have sunglasses and a visor on. So the bottom half of my face is tanner than the top half of my face. And I swear every time I look in the viewfinder, it looks like I have a mustache. So I put this on my face so it takes it away. It's super easy to apply. It's not sticky and I love the color it turns me. It's just such a natural, 
beautiful color and it builds up gradually over time as you apply it every day but yeah I just thought I would share this secret potion with y'all because this is my secret to being a bronzed goddess and I love that this is like a one woman owned business she has just recently launched this company and she is doing some great things. I love supporting small business, especially women-owned small businesses. So I thought I would give her a shout out. I will link this product down below. Highly, highly, highly recommend you checking it out and supporting your female entrepreneurs. But for now, I'm about to go take all my clothes off, rub this all over my body, and I'll share the results with y'all tomorrow. I'll show you how well it tans me. But yeah, so that's it. I just thought I would share this because I get so many questions about what I use for self tanner. All right guys, I have rambled on for long enough. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.